very big warm welcome to everyone especially all my new subscribers and of course all my precious old subscribers I have another 12 by 12 layout for you it's for Auntie Vera's scrap and craft as I'm on her design team for the month of September we are using the papers from Courtier Creations and the collection is actually called a gentleman's emporium last week I did a layout about my grandfather so this time round it's going to be a layout about my dad so I've picked the paper 01a that is both side A and side B that I've got there so of course they're made to coordinate so taking advantage of that takes out the guesswork and what I'm doing here is I'm just ripping a well it's not really a shape but I'm just carelessly ripping something I actually do like the the pattern that it made in the end and then I'm going to be roughing that up with my distressing tool if you don't have a distressing tool you don't have to worry you can just use the end of your scissors or the sharp the sharp bit of your scissors and just rough it up that way the scrapped paper is going to be trimmed down I think I trimmed about oh 0.5 of a centimeter all around and then I will be matting it on some gray card stock once I finish trimming my striped paper I'm going to take my memento grey flannelette and I'm just going to ink around all four sides if any of you talented crafters out there are interested in any of these papers you can get them from the wonderful Auntie Vera at Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft and I will leave a link in the description for you off camera I also inked my oddly ripped shape that I did earlier on I absolutely love how this is looking I'm just going to adhere this ripped shape down as I know that the placement is right and I'm quite happy with the look of everything so down it goes from my stash I picked this gorgeous paper I loved those weathered looking grey grey rectangles to me these rectangles represented or they looked like steel and tin and because my father had trained as a welder in South America in his youth I just thought that this would be a great representation of his of his chosen trade even though in Australia he worked mainly in the construction industry I used my trimmer to cut out all my little rectangles and then I'm going to spend a considerable amount of time but I spare you that pain of playing with all my little pieces of steel rectangles as I create a layered mat for the photo to sit on I just played around with these and I moved them around till I got something that I really liked once I was happy with the placement of my rectangles what I did was I took out my distressing tool once again and I distressed all my rectangles I then took out my Memento's grey flannel ink and just as I did before I inked all edges of every single rectangle a little bit time consuming but I love the cohesiveness that this gives to the whole layout and then of course off camera I glued everything down as I mentioned earlier in Australia dad did work in mainly in the construction industry so I wanted to represent that aspect of his life and so the thought that came to mind was bricks so what I did was I got my Liquitex uh, paste and this is a textured paste it's called natural sand and it does have that gritty feel of bricks so what I did was I mixed it with some distress oxide spray in the colors Puma stone and it just gave it a softer look because I didn't really want it to dominate the whole layout so I took this stencil the stencil is from Kaisercraft and it's called rough grit and it is my chosen product for the month of September and if you want to get your hands on this hot little stencil it's from Auntie Vera's scrap and craft and she does have it on at really good prices for the month of September so you know go and check out her website and support a nice small Australian store that has the best personal service you could possibly get a layout about my dad would not be complete without the representation of soccer so on my silhouette machine I cut out a silhouette of a soccer player kicking a ball and I also cut out a few soccer balls I did also cut out an aeroplane to represent his journey to Australia as he migrated but the aeroplane just didn't work I couldn't get it to work so I put it away for some other projects later on 
I love my soccer balls. I thought that they were absolutely perfect for the layout. And then I got out these die cuts. They're from Casercraft and they are from the Whispers Collectibles. I just pulled a few. That circle one says forever in my heart, which of course he always will be. And the little rectangle says love. And it says that it's a noun, an intense feeling of deep affection, which, hey, don't we all feel that for our dads? So my next thing was to work on my title, and I went a little bit plain with my title. It just says my dad, and then between the soccer player and all the balls, I actually put my dad's name down. I absolutely love these stickers. They're called Happy Life, and I want to know... Do they come in other colours? I I just love them so much and I want to know if I can get them in a variety of colours. Does anyone know? Please let me know in the comments. That will be wonderful. Once my title was finished, I did do some journaling on my layout just so that if future generations read this, they'd want to know about this wonderful man that was my dad. For anyone interested, the journal read, My dad, my hero. He sacrificed everything to give me a better life. He left the country, his family and friends, so that I may know security and freedom. He worked hard all his life to give me an education. I will always be grateful and I will always love him. And that brings us to the end of the layout. So thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. And till next time there are going to be some close-ups so take care everybody and i look forward to showing you my next layout